all right so now let's talk about company information that's our first that's the first thing that we'll be looking at so as soon as we register in the developer edition org a user is set up for us right along with that a company information the company information is also set up so if you see the organization name is set up as the company name that we provided the primary contact is set to my name the address is based on the information i gave and if you see based on the address a default locale language and time zone is selected right but what we can also do is we can change this based on our, our uh, current settings so let me just quickly go ahead and edit it and what i'll do is i'll just change this to india and here default locale can be changed to english india default language will be english and i'll just change the default time zone to gmt plus 530 this right here right and i can change the currency to inr right so i just changed all the relevant information that i deemed visible based on the information that i had and i just click on save so once i click on save the information is updated based on my preferences right so this is the com com company information that it holds alongside company information there are some key parameters that this specific uh, section holds the first thing is the salesforce.com org id now every org that's created has a specific unique identifier which is called your org id now this is a 15 digit id and this lets salesforce identify what is your org actually so a simple use case would be if you have any issues if you have any if you're facing any limitations from this uh, salesforce software you can connect with the support team and all they'll ask you is for the salesforce.com organization id because this will help them ensure what org are you talking about which is this right here and then they can you know debug and uh, reproduce the issue that you are having and then can provide you a solution that's one use case apart from that if you are doing some third party integrations which are org specific you can definitely use this, use this id as an as a unique identifier all right and if you see the org edition is developer edition we'll talk about editions in a while but developer edition is the only free edition that you get and you don't have to pay anything to salesforce but it comes with limitations talking about those limitations if you see the limitation is you get limited number of licenses to use so every user in salesforce as you might already know has is assi assigned to a license and, th and that's what you know that's how salesforce earns right salesforce uh, sales li user licenses that let you log into salesforce so the most prominent and the most extensive license salesforce has is the salesforce user, user license and if you see our system administrator user or the user that i'm logged in as has the salesforce license provided and which is why if you see out of the two total licenses that we have one is already consumed and only one is remaining now for developer edition orgs you just get two licenses here and you cannot you know uh, extend this to 5 or 10 and you cannot even request salesforce to do that because this is the this is why the developer edition org is free it comes with a limitation of just two salesforce licenses and a limited storage storage uh, section provided to you it's roughly 200 mb all right coming back to this first section we talked about org id we talked about the org edition if you see this an instance that is called um8 all right so this instance is nothing but the actual central location of this org wherever it it, it it is stored in the cloud right it's not stored in your machine or my machine right so it's stored somewhere and wherever it is stored it is represented or known as known under the instance um8 all right we'll talk about instances and additions in a while need not worry down below we have something called user licenses now each user license is available to solve or solve or provide you a specific purpose like if you want your users to be external users or they just want to be you know guest users or they want to be users who ex access only the portals you would probably you know give them the customer portal the customer community plus licenses the community login licenses if you want these users to you know access the whole of salesforce you'd probably want them to use the salesforce license or the salesforce platform license if you just want them to you know uh, talk to one another you could probably use something called the chat uh, something that's specific to chatter which is internal collaboration tool that salesforce provides right so these are specific user licenses that are available and if you see there are 23 such licenses and apart from that you have some add-ons available so under add-ons you have something called permission set licenses you have something called feature licenses so based on a specific plugin or a specific add-on that you need your users to be you know be capable of doing you can use these type of licenses so based on, you have a primary user license assigned to your user and on top of it you can assign some more licenses uh, using these permission set licenses and feature licenses 
all right remember one user can only be assigned one user license but they can definitely be assigned multiple permission set or multiple feature license right now if i am working as a system administrator i'll be provided the salesforce license that's the only license i can use i cannot have salesforce and salesforce platform license together okay but if my team also wants me to specifically look into the CRM side of the world. They'll give me access to the CRM user permission set license by assigning this permission set to me. And they'll also give me something from the feature set. Let's say the sales for CRM content user. So I can have these two as add-ons that will let me perform or do a specific kind of a, a task or a, uh, get access to a specific kind of module in Salesforce. But the key license that I'll be assigned to will be the Salesforce license and this can only be one at a time for a user. All right, you cannot have multiple mapped. So a user can be assigned just one license, but a single license can be assigned to multiple users. Make sense? Great. Now let's talk about the org ID. I mean the organization editions and the instances. What do these mean? 